can you tell us what online learning will be like in the fall for our elementary school students? So students that will be participating online in our elementary grades receive daily instruction in all four core content areas, math, reading, social studies, and science, and have access to electives, including art, music, PE, and where grade appropriate health. Students and teachers will engage in live daily instruction through the use of Microsoft Teams. One of the benefits of our online implementation for our students is that we're focusing on live daily instruction rather than pre-recorded lessons. Can you tell us what online learning will be like in the fall for our elementary school students? We know that our students learn best when they receive direct instruction from their teachers, where they can listen to their responses, differentiate their instruction, and plan tomorrow's lesson based on how their students learned and reacted. Students will have daily assignments and they will be expected to participate live each day. That doesn't mean that they're going to be on the computer live for six straight hours. Teachers will be delivering instruction, assigning work, and students will have breaks throughout the day between their subjects. Time will be built in for lunch and for play at home, as we know our young learners need to play and stretch and eat and take bathroom breaks. High quality instruction, excellent instructional materials are still a focus in our online learning setting. We're not using different materials than students were using in their classrooms. In fact, we spent the summer preparing to introduce online platforms that are developmentally appropriate for students, including young learners, so they can do work that aligns to what they're used to in the classroom online at home. So students who are choosing to attend face-to-face -face will be in smaller class sizes than they've experienced previously. Most of our classrooms will be 20 or less students depending on the square footage of the room. Additionally, most of our young learners will have one teacher and the same group of students will be cohorted throughout the day to ensure social distancing and limited exposure. While students have to socially distance in an in-person setting, they'll still have access to materials like workbooks and their own novels and their own textbooks. And then in order to do work together, we'll actually leverage the same online platforms that we'll have available for our online students in our schools. Teachers will be able to see real time through online platforms how students are responding to questions. Students will be able to work together in shared spaces and they'll be able to submit assignments digitally. Not only is this going to be an important structure to ensure social distancing, but it also will prepare students if we are ever forced to another closure. We will have students wearing masks all day in the classrooms. Tell me a little bit about how instruction will be for face-to-face -face with the barriers of social distancing and mask wearing. Yeah, it is our expectation that both students and teachers wear masks. Teachers will also be provided face shields because many of our lessons for our youngest learners rely on teachers' mouth movements to show and articulate sounds, for example. We'll be patient with our young learners to understand if they're having a difficult time keeping their mask on. We'll use social distancing practices, counseling, and support to make sure that they are up for that challenge. We encourage parents to have their children practice at home to get ready. What we've observed actually through our summer school implementation is that kids are not as bothered as we might anticipate they are. Um, in fact, they do a great job wearing their masks. It helps them feel safe and their peers too. So while this is different, we are preparing to help students be successful as possible. Beyond the face shields, teachers will also have voice amplifiers. So we know that without being able to see someone's mouth, sometimes it might be hard to hear them. These voice amplifiers will make sure that the teacher's voice is carried throughout the classroom and they won't be difficult to hear. We know that some parents are concerned about students that are participating online and how will they socialize. We'll spend the first two weeks of school with our teachers building community among their students as well as preparing students for success with the types of skills they'll need to be successful in online platforms. Student and teacher-led discussion is an important foundation to the daily instructional practice. Kids will be getting to know each other, engaging with each other in discussion, doing small group work together, and learning about one another. While online learners will have daily live instruction with their teachers, 
We will also provide wraparound supports from the additional staff that are available in buildings. So they'll have access if needed to social workers, guidance counselors, academic interventionists, and paraeducators, all who serve a role in providing support to the whole child. Principals, assistant principals, deans of culture will be responsible for understanding individual students' needs and making sure we match the right support to them, even in an online setting. Many families are probably already familiar with the homework hotline that we introduced two years ago. It's offered on Monday through Thursday in the evening to provide real-time homework support to our students. That resource is gonna be available to students who are attending in person and our online students. So if students have a hard time during the day in an online lesson, they can call the homework hotline for support in completing their independent work. Just like live online instruction, where our teachers are providing live instruction, our homework hotline is not staffed by tutors. We hire our own teachers with expertise on our instructional materials and who know our students well to answer questions on the homework hotline.